for my camera to finish doing its business. Enjoying a uh, new to me craft beer. All right, so I'm just going to start this video. I just heard my camera trip off. So this is the. Oh, gotta stop that. Okay. This is a Mead LXD 75, 10 and a half inch Schmidt Newtonian. Very nice scope. Let's see. It's very nice. I enjoy it a lot. You can see this scope has a focal length of 1016 millimeters. Here I have a modified Canon 6D. I don't know if you'll be able to see the 6D symbol. It's gonna be a messy video. There you go, full frame camera imaging at 1119 millimeters. You just saw it finish an exposure. As in, how long was that exposure? That was an eight minute long exposure. All right, let's see. So, that there is Vega, simply because it was the easiest thing to um, get a bead on. And, you know what, there's a little coma, but I'd say Overall, overall, that's pretty decent for eight minutes, wouldn't you say? Look at those stars. Not bad. I have to image at the low setting on, uh, on the ISO. So, less than 100, whatever that is. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that considering resumed all the way in at a thousand millimeters, thousand and nineteen millimeters. All right, so here's the thing, guys. Full frame Canon 6D on a Mead 10 inch Schmidt Newtonian, weighs 30 something pounds. And we are tracking on a Fornax Mounts Light Track 2 portable star tracker mounted to the Fornax Mounts FMW 200 wedge featuring the Fornax Mounts. I um, can't remember the designation actually, but uh, the Fornax Mounts counterweight kit with one, two, three of the Fornax weights, and two slightly bigger weights, as you can see. We'll get the total weight there for you. But, and of course we've got our Manfrotto tripod taped together at the joints because it was falling down under the strain of the weight. But not the light track two. No, the light track two just tracked an eight minute exposure with over 30 pounds of payload and however much counterweight and however much the bar weighs. Oh yeah, also I aligned it with my squishy human eyeballs. So I'd say that's pretty good. I don't know about you, but I would say 
for an eight minute exposure, I would say that's pretty darn good. Wouldn't you? Here's the thing. This mount, this mount, or this scope rather, this scope actually shipped on this mount. It's a common clone. Many of you are probably familiar with it. I think it was a clone of a Vixen mount maybe. Had the Vixen bar. There's our me logo. Not actually a bad mount for visual. You know, go to, have the hand control and everything. Uh, but, you know, compared to the light track, in my experience, this thing is much better off doing its current job, which is holding my light. So, yeah, I wasn't getting eight minute exposures out of it with fairly round stars, that's for sure. So that image is going to be posted in full res, of course. It'll be on the product page of the uh, Light Track 2, fervinastronomy.com. This is a long video. I don't know how many people watch to the end, but yeah, there you go. Okay, welcome to my garden shed where all the telescope stuff lives. And here we have a crummy IKEA scale. Which I think is in and out. Zero pounds. We have our Mead LX D75 OTA minus the uh, Canon 6D, but the addition of a sorry, a uh, very frosty dust cap, dust cap on the finder, cap on the thing. So we're gonna pretend I don't know. Perhaps this weighs about as much as a Canon 6D. Got this Amazon special. Vixen bar. I'm gonna put this on the scale. Hmm. Okay. This is not as easy as I thought. Um, hmm. Okay. I guess we're gonna find out how much I weigh. Scope, depending on how much I lean on the thing, it's about 245 pounds, I'd say. off of there somewhere. That's an awkward way to pop a cap. Anyway. You can see how much I weigh. This is embarrassing. 210 pounds, I guess. Winter's coming, guys. All right. So 245-ish minus 210-ish, the OTA is listed at about 30 pounds, so that seems right. It's got the rings, the bar, the, the finder, camera would have been on there, so we can assume that's about right. There we 
go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Definitely messed up collimation there. Right, so 30-ish pounds, 35 pounds. And we've got the Fornax mounts, counterbalance bar with three of their standard weights. This should be easier to do. Looks like. Let's see. Weighs about 14 pounds, I guess. One counterweight. Two counterweights. These are the counterweights that came with the Meat Alex T75 back in the day. Puts it at 32, 4, 6. Wow, 36 pounds. Didn't expect the uh, counterweights to be about the same as the scope, but there you go. Although I guess that makes sense. So, that's uh, like 36, 35 pounds, so 70 pounds altogether. Scope, counterweight, and bar riding on that little three pound portable tracker. I keep wanting to say star tracker, but it's not. It is a portable tracker. And I think it did a darn good job for star trail free photos at a thousand and nineteen millimeter focal length for 10 minutes. I can't believe this is true. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. All right, I'm gonna go burn my eyeballs looking at, looking at the moon with a 12 inch Newtonian because that's just how I roll. Have a good night. I should mention that I'm using a uh, William Optics Diffraction Spikes bat nub mask. I'll bet improperly, but it's doing the trick. I don't know if you guys can see, but the spikes are pretty good. It's really difficult because it's very dim. As you can see, there's some coma. Or maybe it's just the fact that I have a bunch of tape and stuff and the mask is just leaning on the edge of the scope. But anyway, I think I'm happy with that. So we're gonna go ahead and try and image the Ring Nebula.